All right, this is going to be a quick video uh, to show the trailer and my kayak setup uh, that I've been working on for the past few weeks. This is an overview here. I'm going to go ahead and walk down the stairs, try to keep this as steady as possible. Okay, well, starting with the trailer, uh, this was an old jet ski trailer, and I had uh, this rack that I took off the Jeep um, because I'm getting ready to give the Jeep to my granddaughter. So I wanted to keep the rack and it just worked out perfect. I took the bunks off the trailer and I mounted the uh, rack on the trailer. I got it bolted down here with two self-tapping screws that I may change later. And then back here, I took, let's see if you can see this, I took some eye bolts and I put it through the frame, give me something to tie down to also. And then in the front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, some angle bracket uh, connected to the trailer and then put a bolt through this side and the same thing goes for the other side. So that's that. Then I took some one inch marine grade plywood and put that down there to give me some workspace uh, so I can cook, I can work on whatever on the back and it also gives me a place to mount my cooler with a tie down there and then I just run the uh, tie down to one of the cross members on the, on the bar. Okay, well for the kayak it's a Wilderness Systems uh, top in 120. And it's got this large front hatch here where I store stuff. Um, I have a, a dry bag that I'll put stuff in if I need to store stuff in there. Uh, here is a, a ram mount uh, for my fly rod. As you can see, it comes up. There's my GPS there. The GPS will eventually be mounted up here uh, with a, um, I don't know what you call them things, but a, a paddock. I'll put a paddock there and then the back of it, I'll put a paddock right here and the back of it will clip onto the paddock and I'll have it right there and it's landed off to the ram mount. Okay, going around to the other side. I have another ram mount, camera mount, where I have uh, this piece here that my GoPro will click into. Uh, it's not waterproof, but uh, it'll give me an opportunity to take it off the other pole and move it here for a different shot or put another camera here. Um, I put some LED lights in right here. They're just battery operated lights. Uh, let me move around the other side and you can see it. Sorry if this video is a little redundant, but I didn't rehearse. Okay, so there's the LED lights underneath the uh, pedal track. And then they just go to this control box right there, which is weatherproof. And you just push that blue button and the lights will come on. I'd like to get one for this slide too. Uh, I've got a leash here for my paddle. And of course my life preserver my fish grips which are right here and I just have them attached to the paddle holder and then here is a place for my cigarettes uh, phone whatever moving on back wounded warrior sticker I'm a peer mentor for wounded warriors moving back is my black pack uh, with six rod holders on it the three front ones, um, I'll probably move one of the poles to the back. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Maybe put another mount, a track mount on there. Um, my net will go probably where the fresh water rod is. And then I got my salt water rod. And then this here, this pole here, was a monopod. And what I did was it had a foam grip so it fits in the rod holder nice and snug. And I took this 
box here, which is uh, a vaporizer, actually, but it also is a power pack. A U uh, so you can put a USB charger in there. And of course, again, it's not weatherproof. It's going to be a um, fair weather thing. And it goes up, and then I cut holes in the back of the, on the side of the uh, holder for the camera so I can get the plug in. And that way, when the battery goes low, I just click. There's a switch right here. I just click that to on, and the power will go ahead and recharge the camera. And the camera isn't a GoPro, uh, GoPro believe it or not. It's a, a Chinese knockoff. It costs 68 bucks. comes with every mount you can think of. So I uh, jerry-rigged a mount on there, took the, the spike off it, and then I just mounted that mount, the bicycle mount. Uh, it's called an SJ... Uh, CM or something 4000. Uh, it's, it takes awesome, awesome video. This is my visipole right here. Got the American flag and the visibility flag. And this goes into one of the rear uh, holders. Then my black pack. Uh, I have my sponge in there. I have some uh, lures. My fly fishing stuff for fresh water. I'll hopefully have a saltwater rod here shortly, fly rod. I put a gear track on here. There's the uh, dry bag for the back here. In case I do an overnight or something, I could put clothes, my stove and everything in there and then just store it in the back here. And I got the black pack tied down with the uh, bungees that were in the back. Uh, my anchor trolley. I just put that on. Goes from the uh, stern to the bow. It's got this nylon ring here. You know, it just slides back and forth to the from the bow to the stern. That's pretty much it. Uh, inside this hatch, I have uh, whistle, uh, first aid kit other stuff my pliers uh, just a set of gerbers I gotta go ahead and get a bungee or uh, some kind of lanyard for that uh, I've got a <coughs> paddle leash here and I have a leash here for the fishing rod whichever one I'm using for the day my anchor system and that's pretty much it but I think it's a good setup. Uh, and of course, it's only been a three weeks or so. So I think I've done quite a bit. This is the last over, overall view. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll see what other modifications I make. I may take a, uh, a fish bag, an ice bag, and put it here. Tie it down onto this front hatch. Store my fish. And uh, I think I'll be pretty well set up for some salt water fishing. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Hope maybe you've got some ideas uh, on what to do. And that'll do it. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you next time.